know how to generate a particular type of reports from this system so the window we see here is the window that you will see when you have logged in as an, an administrator or as the manager of the particular store that the system is running on now when you see this window the very first uh, option that we see or the very first uh, uh, Okay, the very first option that we see, which is in blue, written on analytics, is what we are going to use in this report. Now, uh, when you click on this section, a new window will come up. Now, this is the window that has the reports that we would like to generate. So, basically, there are, there are going to be several reports that we can generate from here, but I might take you through just a few, which are essential in this training so from this window we have the starting date and the ending date so the starting date is the date when the system should consider in, uh, when generating that report when should the report begin and when should it end if you want the report of uh, one month the starting date should be the first date of that month and the ending date should be the last date of that month if you want the reports of one day the starting and the ending date should be the same so in this case let me say i we want to generate the report on the most selling products for just one day so i click on this starting date and choose a day let me say 22nd of may and then I choose the same date for ending date. So I want the most selling products for 22nd May 2020 only. So once I have chosen the two dates, I click on reports on most selling products. Once I click on that, I, I get a, a dialog box which is asking me to, to insert a number which is actually uh, the number of goods that the system should provide. If I say 10, it will give me top 10 most selling products. So I'm interested in, let me say 5. So this, when I write 5 here, the system should be able to give me top 5 most selling goods. So I click OK. Once I click OK, you see a new dialog box comes. This second dialog box uh, requires me to put a, a file name where this is, this is simply the name of the file that I will open. In other words, this computer needs to store this file. What name will, should the computer use when storing this particular report? So I let me call it most selling report or just report. Let me just write report. Now once I've written that, that is the file name. Another thing is where is the computer supposed to store this file? Uh, automatically the computer will store in documents if you click open. But I will prefer, uh, okay, I personally prefer desktop because it is easier to locate a document on the desktop. But you can choose any other location that you want. So to change this to a preferred location, you just uh, click on this place where the computer is written and look in. And, uh, okay, in my case, it's documents. In, in most cases, it's the computer. In most cases, the computer will write, will choose documents because that's the primary folder for storing documents in a computer. So I would like to choose a desktop. So I click on this option. I scroll upwards. Desktop is option two from the top. I click on desktop. Once I have clicked on desktop, I can now click open. This means that this file called report will be stored in desktop as soon as I click open 
So let me try to click open. The system tell, gives me a message that uh, this is successfully generated. And I can see a new report actually created here called report. This is the file name that I gave it. So once I click on it, I am able to open the particular report that I asked the system to generate. You can see the system is giving me top five most selling goods uh, for the period of uh, uh, 22nd May 2020 to 22nd May 2020. Now, this time here you see, this is when the day starts and this is when the day ends. So the beginning day, the system looks at the time when the day starts, which is 000 hours just one minute past uh, that's exactly uh, uh, midnight that's when a new day starts and the day ends at exactly 23 59 59 hours so that is the range that the system will will check so if it is one day basically these dates will be the same but the time will be the time or rather the range of time will be different so you can see we have uh, five most selling products here a uh, mandazi we have been uh, i can see uh, seven mandazis have sold uh, one maziwa has sold and i can see profit realized in each case so that is how we generate uh, most selling goods let me close this uh, report and try to generate list selling goods for the same date i'm not changing the dates so a uh, list selling goods i click here but this time round i want let me say just two list selling goods so the system should be able to give me a list of two goods that are list selling from the system when i click ok the same procedure is followed file name let me now write list and choose a location as desktop and then click open this file has been generated and i it and uh, to see this file we shall have to close this window because the file is behind this window so you can see this file is here list one if i open this file i should be able to find two list selling products which which in this case is uh, maziwa and boga in each case only one product are sold today so that's how we generate the two 